Okay, introductory game is uh, shoe tying. Elementary PE. So they're only tying one person's shoe, not both people's shoes, right? Okay. Ready? Go. Okay. Now switch sides and do it with your opposite hand. Hey, look like your partner just showed up. Uh, he didn't have a partner, so come to your partner. Oh, we got now we got an odd number again. Come on, they get throw you junk down. They're tying it. Huh? Yeah, you can be with him. That'd be fine. They're they're having to tie her her okay, shoes. Don't try with your eyes closed. Oh, with your eyes closed. Yeah. So untie one of your shoes. Untie, untie one of your shoes and then try put one hand behind your back. You might want to sit on the other side. It's not tied. Your right hand, his left hand. Eyes closed. You have to be his partner? You have to do it with your eyes closed? You can't close your eyes. No. Oh. Okay. Y'all supposed to have your eyes closed. No cheating now. <laughs> a little harder with your eyes closed, isn't it? Can you imagine, third graders? One, two, pull. Yes! <laughs> oh, nice. Now, everybody, make sure your shoes are tied and stand up. And I think everybody going to grab a wand. Shoes. This class is such a good class. Their behavior is so wonderful. Wands. catch it on the ends. I think they've got to catch it with their hands. Yeah, you've got to catch it in the middle. You have to catch it in the middle? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you catch it in the middle. You don't try to catch it on the ends. Okay. Joya, put him in a group of three so you can watch people better. Yeah, not beginning teachers should not be partners with people. Yeah.
Can you maybe demonstrate for us? Don't turn your back on your... Okay. Don't turn your back to your class. When you demonstrate, put him and the, his back to him. So. Okay, all wands down. Everybody sit down. Bring your partner up and demonstrate the next one. Okay, why did I just do that? Because y'all are talking while she's teaching and you're going to lose control of the class, right? So you don't let them touch the wand while you're talking. Wands, all the equipment down. And if they still are moving around and talking, you're going to sit them down so you, you'll get control back. Then you ask the little extra person to come up, you demonstrate the next one, and then we keep going. Okay? Here we go. Okay, so this is a uh, wand jumping. I'm going to swing my wand back and forth. It's going to jump over, and when I blow my whistle, I'm going to start moving it faster just to challenge him to see if he can do it. Okay, don't use your whistle for go. Only use your whistle for stop. Use your voice to go. You know, for a seven-year-old, you're doing great. <laughs> Kate cannot do this one. That's, we're not doing this one. No jumping. You could do it as a group of three, right?
Yeah, don't turn your back. Good job. And everyone start jumping. Got put in timeout, huh? Come back in. It's not a specific time, right? Deal to have people in time out together, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go so fast. That's the best way to go. <laughs> you did not get put out for the rest of the class, or did she say the rest of the class? Did she put you out for the rest of the class? Just okay. No, just to get to get to get the principal out. Yeah, now, if you do anything before yeah. she... Yeah. Can you demonstrate with the rope?
Do you know how to do it? Uh, maybe they can demonstrate. Over here. Why don't you ask her to demonstrate? See if y'all can figure it out. Okay, t tell the class what you're going to try to okay, do. We're going to try to start jumping first, like separately, and then try to come together. Do you think you know what it is? Should have watched last year's video. I had it down. Last semester, too. They have to, they have to go together at the same time. Let's go to the next one. Oops. Could you please come back in so they'll have an even group number? Y'all come back in so they have an even number. Otherwise, they'll. Well, she can't jump, but she, if she's on the outside, she can swing the rope. It depends on which one you're doing.
when you go to Layford, there's a very good chance that they're going to have all kinds of uh, jump rope tricks and mountain groups. They usually do have uh, quite a few uh, jump rope presentations, but the jump rope for heart raises a lot of money for, um, for the Heart Association at the PE Club. So elementary schools, it's... Yeah. Yeah. And uh, sometimes they even have the, net, the state team come in and demo, you know, like they do at the basketball game. So it's fun. Guys, don't give up. Come, you can do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe. There are different size ropes. I thought the... Or the one beside her, the yellow one looks longer, and, and hers, the blue looks shorter. One, two, ready? Oh, look, jump. yeah, her rope is much shorter. <laughs> Switching teachers! Switching teachers! Wait, wait, wait. Get rid of their jump ropes? No, give Joya. Okay, give, give okay. Give Joya good, good, good. I thought, man, don't throw my jump ropes down. I'll, what'd you do to yourself? I don't know. I think I heard it playing soccer, like kicking the ball and missing it. Like, I like extending my knee. But it should be good. I don't, I don't think it's anything serious. It's just like really tight behind my knee. I'm going to go to the trainers today. That's a good idea. And maybe not run in class. Give me the bust one because I'll need to okay. I'll need to go take it home and sew it. Thank you. Okay, kind of spread out with your partner and just practice picking it back and forth. Keep the outside of your foot, the inside of your foot, and then you back We're just reviewing from last couple days ago. So practice with your partner. You got the good one over there, huh? Yeah. yeah. Close. It's going to be a low scoring game, I can tell you right now. Don't you think? Uh, don't, excuse me. Did you? Hold, hold this for me, dude.
Well, how nice. Yes, the quality of the hacky sack does. Yeah, he's trying to get brownie points from the teacher. That's it, huh? I want you to count how many y'all are getting, too. Those are, that's We're a nice hacky sack. You're not on drugs, are you, dear? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just want to get some brownie points. Good job. Teasing her because she's got in a car accident. It's harder than it looks, isn't it? We had six so far. All right. Did anybody get up more than six? Yeah. How do you win? Never had seen it played that way. Yeah. It's like the same thing. So you're just Very still easy. counting however many you get. But now you can use, and you have to stay in your square though. Okay? Okay, y'all go ahead and drop. Ready? This should be easier, guys, because now you can use your other cards. Like you can use your hand. Jesus! No, but we're working as a team. I mean, if that was the case, I would be like, wham!
Everybody put the balls between their feet and stand there with... Okay.
straight. Um, you're just going to bounce it four times standing up, okay, with your feet together. Then you're going to get on one knee and still bouncing it, bounce it eight times a little faster on the ground. Okay? You want to demonstrate? Exactly.
time, everybody come in, bring in your balls.